like, oh, look at that. We just got off the train at Cate's in Cardiff. And there's all this building work going on. It's absolutely transformed since I last used Cate's railway station. Loads of university buildings springing up. Well, that was a bit of a funny start to the vlog, wasn't it? We are getting headshots done today for Isabel at a photography studio, which is in town. It's a five minute walk, apparently. I've got Google Maps on. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Can we get through? Hopefully we can. Can you hear that whistling noise? I think it's all the, um, the works, but it's like really tuneful. It's kind of like music. Reminds me of the Tuvan throat singing, but not the low bit, just the high bit. Right, I think we can cross here. There's a temporary crossing of some sort, so we'll use this one. I've been away from Cardiff for too long. Where did that building come from? Where's the student union gone? Is that it? Has it been replaced? I used to do gigs in the student union regularly. Is this going to be the site of my next student union gig? These are old-fashioned stop-go signs there for traffic, don't they? I haven't seen those in years. Didn't know they even still had them. Ugh. I thought people just hired a uh, temporary traffic lights, which they do have here. Yeah. God, it's palatial, isn't it? I'm enjoying that whistling. I'm sure it's not meant as music. So we've got a plan of action today, and with Izzy who's not being on camera, um, so first of all, we're going to get her headshots done, which are overdue by about three years, honestly. But with GCSEs and then the pandemic, everything else just kind of got put on hold, really. So we're going to get those done. And then after that, we're going to get lunch. And Izzy would like to have lunch at Subway and get a Subway sandwich. After that, we're going to pop to H&M because I've got her pyjama bottoms that I bought for her when she wasn't with me and they're too small. So we're going to go and change them for something else. And after that, we're going to go and buy a swimming costume for Izzy because she's grown out of her one that she had. Right, the photos have been done. I think they've had a positive experience. We're starving. Well, I'm starving. Are you starving? She's nodding. Yeah, we're going to go and find a subway to have a sandwich. We're just waiting to cross the road here. We're just about to pop into town. I was just thinking what a long time it is since I've been to that museum in Cardiff. We used to go really frequently when we were home educating, but now the pandemic has come and made everything more awkward doesn't it there seems to be some sort of thing set up over there i can see the tops of little canopies and things we've decided to go to the subway right at the end of queen street by the castle we quite like the view from there we used to go there a lot when izzy was little didn't we we had a saturday routine when she had a lesson in town with a class when she was little she used to do a saturday class in the welsh college of music and drama when she was about six and so we always used to go and have a Subway sandwich afterwards. Because of her allergies, it was just somewhere we knew she could eat and it would be okay. So we always went to the same one. We've been in Subway and I've got the food in my bag. Izzy's carrying hers, got a coffee, and we're gonna go over into the castle to have it. We really wanted to sit in, but with the pandemic, we decided we will have it in the fresh air in the castle grounds instead. Oh, we couldn't get in. They had like, um, it was kind of cordoned off, apparently, if it's after three o'clock on is so it Monday to Thursday? Yeah. Monday to Thursday. They don't let anybody in after 3 p.m., but it's up to 5 p.m. on the other days. But anyway, all is not lost because if we just go down here, look, there are these brightly coloured picnic benches, so we're going to go and sit at one of these. It's a little bit drizzly. Oh, it's just starting to rain. I can't believe it. It's like yesterday <laughs> all over again. As he says, hers is nice and crispy. This is what I'm having. It's now, this is a bit of a mixture. It's partially vegan and partially not vegan. So I've got a cheese topped uh, roll, so that's not vegan. But then I've got the vegan patty, but then I've got cheese with it and vegan mayo and lots of salady bits, as you can see. I've also gone for a coffee and some crisps because we had a meal deal. And it's not going well. <laughs> Luckily, I've nearly finished my sandwich, but a huge mob of attendants from the museum, museum castle have just come over and said, we're moving the benches in two minutes. So, oh yeah, they've started already. They're behind me, I don't know if you can see them. Carrying them all off, so better eat my last mouthful and drink my coffee walking. Coming up towards St John's. Coffee in hand, I've managed to eat the last of the sandwich. I've shoved my crisps in my bag, it's all a bit kind of cacanted. <laughs> Look at this, seats and tables everywhere, but um, none for me to sit in. Never noticed that great big lamp up there in all the years I've been in Cardiff. 
It's amazing how we forget to look up when we're in familiar places. Certainly a lot to see up there. It's a neat and tidy looking kiosk, isn't it, here in the haze? Reminds me of Lisbon. Hello, seagull. We're heading towards that shopping centre so we can take the thing back to H&M. Uh, it's no good for me, but if anyone needs any maternity wear, they've got a sale on, you know, with these, um, these stretchy tummy trousers. Don't think I'll be needing any more of those. I'm in H&M, waiting for Izzy. She's in the fitting rooms, choosing a skirt. Well, there's very loud music on, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting to make sure I don't get a copyright strike. Coming down from H&M now, got a refund. Izzy didn't like the skirt, so she didn't choose it. She put it back in the end. We've come into Sports Direct, where there is a whole wall of swimming costumes and more. Isabel's gone over there. Look it, she's just taken one look at these, so I don't like them, and she's gone to see if there are any others. <laughs> She would like to. Oh, we've introduced social distancing measures in store. Ensure oh, that you wear a face covering in store at all times. <laughs> Maintain a at all times, avoiding any. It becomes very difficult to vlog during the pandemic because every five seconds, wherever you are, the train, shops, anywhere, there's an announcement about wearing face masks and keeping your distance. So there we are. Anyway, we're going to pre mark now. Apparently it is actually called Primark. Pippa sent me an article the other day in which Primark themselves confirmed the pronunciation. But I've been calling it Primark since I was born, or at least since I ever heard what it was called. So if I call it Primark, apologies, it is very well ingrained. Looks like the sun's out. She's made a selection and she's gone to wait for me outside the shop while I pay. So I just got to figure out where one goes to pay. Oh, cash desk, it's over there. And there's a queue, no surprises there. They do tend to go down quite quick in pre because they have loads and loads of attendants on at once. So it always looks more horrific than it really is. We've just been in Poundland. We just grabbed a couple of chilled drinks to drink on the train while under the masks, you know. Uh, they're two for a pound in there, so it works out way cheaper than going to a normal corner shop or anything. I think we've had quite a successful day. So she's got her headshots done, managed to get a refund on the pyjama bottoms, and she's got a swimming costume, and hopefully it fits, but you can take it back, but don't take the strip off. There's like always a hygiene strip in a swimming costume. As long as she keeps that in, she can still take it back as long as it's within 28 days. So we're heading to Queen Street Station now, and our train is due in about 15 minutes. Waiting for the train now on a bench. Isabel made a beeline for it when she spotted it was empty. We're travelling at an off-peak time, it's half past four, so hopefully she'll be nice and quiet on the train. Now Isabel is sitting next to me here and she's eating gourmet jelly beans and they smell delicious. She has offered me some, but I don't think they go with diet drinks at all. No, no, it makes the drink taste funny. So I'm going to enjoy this now in the hot sunshine and the gentle breeze of Queen Street Station. But if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like because it really helps the channel to grow and I don't half appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!